Well, hi there. I'm Fenwa. I'm Lobst. I'm Taxus. And welcome back to Haze for the PlayStation 3. We are in the middle of a riveting cut scene in this uh, dropship slash helicopter. Or not. This dropship doesn't seem to give a shit about bullets, sir. Oh man, it's raining. The cold realities of war. Yeah, so I don't know how this is going to end up playing in post, but I actually dropped the sound effects volume down to 20% for this video and uh, just decided to squeeze the trigger for this entire segment. <laughs> Would you like tape it down with some masking tape? No, I'm just holding down the trigger. You switched auto fire on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you, you inserted your PS3 game genie. No, I'm having a nectar overdose, so I, I constantly fire. Oh, I'm so angry. This is why other games have, you know, things like ammo limits. You know, I'm so glad you're off the nectar because of like the the grisly shit that's happening to these guys. Oh yeah, look at all these these bodies that are lingering around and not disappearing thanks to my nectar. Yeah, they're like lingering and like limbs are being blown off yeah. and they're just like dying in such grisly horrible ways. Yeah, and I'm just Piles making this big pile of bodies. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, this game really makes a statement, is what I'm saying. We are letting the bodies hit the floor here. Yes. If only it was, uh, what, 1999? When did that song come out? Let the bodies hit the floor where where they'll make uh, room for some more. Damn it. That's right. <laughs> that, that's how that song goes. <laughs> I don't know. I just know it was in that really terrible, was it Jason X? Oh, I would just assume that it's in, like, every shitty stick figure animation that I ever watched in high school. <laughs> God. If you were cool back then and you made an FPS gameplay video, you knew what song to use. Yeah, uh, Breaking Me Down by Soil. Uh, it's like, hey, I've got a copy of Unreal Tournament and Flash. <laughs> I've got Firestarter by Prodigy. Uh, <laughs> Unreal Tournament skill shots. You need real player to view this video. <laughs> Uh, Lincoln Park, I'm about to break that MP3. <laughs> I think it's a little disturbing that you understand and know all these cliches. I was in high school once. Yes, so uh, was I. So, uh, we're firing. <laughs> Clear the via of troopers. It's villa, thank you. It's full of villains. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, I've never had my helicopter shot down. Is that possible? I don't think so, and I don't think that this this segment takes any longer or shorter, uh, depending on how well you do. I never bothered trying to fail it, so I don't really know what that looks like. I, I imagine that if I, you know, literally stepped away from the controller, that you're like, oh, you failed to kill enough mantle splitters, and the mission's over. <laughs> Gotta get your mantle. Look over the right. There is another platoon inbound. Set us now. Wait, why are we setting down? <laughs> this is working really well. You gotta get up close and personal. No, don't drop me off. This game has so much variety. Uh, well, let's uh, let's bring the sound audio back in and see where that gets us. Uh, nowhere, we're still playing Haze. Alright, here we go. And we're back, masking uh, several deaths and a loading screen. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I did actually... Well, I'll talk about it later. No, um, Great, now you gotta it. say it, because it's on, no. it's on record. Uh, yeah, seriously. Uh, I'll be honest, I died a lot during the recording of this video. And normally I would go back and start the mission over, but I didn't want to have to do that fucking gunner sequence over and over again, because it's unskippable. It's what starts this mission marker, not this on-foot segment here. And for some reason, this mission on the mission select screen continues well into the next mission. So, basically, I, I, I did not give a shit about uh, the amount of times that I die in this video. Uh, also, I was pretty drunk when I recorded this one. Oh, I, I felt like being in character, I guess. That's right. Well, you know, um, recovering from... I was from... experiencing my own little nectar withdrawal. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's exactly like being uh, slightly buzzed. You, you do want to chest bump and, mm -hmm. you know, bro out. But the rebels don't bro out. No, they're very subdued. But I mean, truth be told, I think I was drunk for most of the recording of this game. 
I should be drunk right now. Please don't. <laughs> Man, these graphics, they expose the power of the PlayStation 3. That cell processor is really getting used. You know, I love in, in every jungle, in every linear first-person shooter like this, how the terrain is carved out in such a way that it creates natural eight-foot-high walls. Mm-hmm. Gotta go around the other side. These are the most... What? <laughs> I blew it up. It's physics. Yeah, you, you blow up the little panel on it, and that just, you know, that's the linchpin that takes the whole thing out. And the panel is, of course, vulnerable to bullets, because that's that's what you want with your equipment in a combat situation. Yes, the only two weaknesses of man, fear and bullets. Yes. Yeah, can, you be, can you be killed by physics objects in this game? Never tried. No. Probably. I mean, it's pretty bad. He just had an artillery cannon fall on his head and didn't kill him, so probably not. Mm. There probably are no physics. Everything just clips through you. You are literally God on Earth. Yes, the game never really puts you in a situation where that happens. I cannot believe that each, like, individual segment of jungle is, like, bordered by this generic jungle texture mm -hmm. that just stretches up like a wall. How do I know where they are? Follow the plan! You'd think they would try to hide that better. Well, they're probably thinking that you're so juiced up on nectar that, you know, you're not going to notice. That's right. So I actually used a fake death to mask several real deaths, and we're back. Mm. <laughs> now you could put a commercial break in there. Yes. That's right. <laughs> For nectar. If I wasn't so lazy, I could make you a nectar commercial. <laughs> I actually don't know what my promise to Marino is. Promises like, uh, to get those bastards. Yeah, well, I get <laughs> that, the, that the rebel people thing is called the promise hand, but I don't get what my promise to Marino is. Is it just like, uh, I promise to not do Nectar anymore and kill all the Haze dudes? <laughs> is it like one of those dare things where you sign a little paper saying you're not going to do drugs? Uh, did we shake on it? And if so, uh, was there a pinky swear involved? Well, if it's like a dare program, you should at least get a pretty cool t-shirt. So in this segment of the level, there are all these houses that have flares on them that are full of civilians that the Mantel soldiers are trying to liberate. <laughs> By killing them? Yes. Every time I've played through this level, I have chosen different houses to go into and different people to liberate, or just skipping all of them entirely, and I, I don't see any difference. Like, there's no apparent bonus for rescuing ex-civilians. There's no trophies, so it's not really tracking that at all. So what you're saying is that because there's no reward, there's no point in saving anybody. Basically yes. devaluing human life. That is that is exactly what I'm saying. Extra knife. Wow. <laughs> uh, so you're a cold, heartless bastard. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even have bothered saving any of them. Uh, there you go. If you're, if you're not explicitly rewarded for it, then it's not worth doing. Quote unquote, femoir. Yep. <laughs> Extra knife. Unless there's money involved, the value of a human life is zero. <laughs> exactly. That's what you're saying. Pay me for... Uh, Femme is basically yes. can we, can the we just evil dialogue putting... track in the Bioware game. <laughs> can we just continue putting words in my mouth? Yep. It's like, hi, Fenwa here. I'll save you, but give me 20 bucks. I, I don't think I ever said that. Except that, you know, they're not gonna, there's an exchange rate, and they're not going to have dollars, so they're just going to have to do it in barter. So maybe some, like, beads or something, or some tequila. Fingers. Marino's <laughs> fingers. <laughs> this benevolent quest looks looks good, but what do I get out of it? I'll let you know when I get there. Oh, crap. I found your tank. Any suggestions? It depends how brave you're feeling. Uh... Actually, the Witcher series is very good about making it so you can't just be a people pleaser, like the way every Bioware game allows you to do. Oh, and where it's a yes or no? Uh, yes, where it's like, well, yes, of course, I will do all these good things, and I will have my alignment bar max out to the blue side as opposed to the red side. Oh, yes, Bioware. Speaking of uh, people that used to make good games, <laughs> yes. what was the last bad game they made? Um, no, their games were still like better than most. They just uh, so the lock-on mechanic on the rocket launcher is horse shit, also dog shit. 
I can't tell what the act of zooming in to create that cursor actually causes. The rockets seem to go wherever they want to go. If you hover it over something when you're not zoomed in, then you'll have that little lock-on cursor go on, but as soon as you move or the thing that you're trying to lock onto moves, it it fails to uh, to lock. I know what the purpose of that lock-on cursor is. To be ignored? Uh, to make the screen look busier and therefore more exciting. That's right. Because we're not having enough excitement. Yeah. I know. Like, you'd think they wouldn't need it, considering the non-stop thrill ride that is happening right here. Watching a tank drive around in a circle. <laughs> it's like one of those really slow rides at, like, the kitty amusement park. <laughs> this tank is a teacup in disguise. <laughs> it's, it's like that one ride at the, amus- at the amusement park that's, like, it's one of those water rides where it's literally just a bunch of little cars that ride on a track. What I'm actually trying to do is take the weapon that I swapped out for the rocket launcher, but the game's having none of it. I think that rifle just straight up disappeared. It fell through the floor. So I'll use the rocket launcher for a bit. You just failed to kill both those guys with a rocket. It's not a very good close range weapon. I think that's against the Geneva Convention, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm remembering my promise to Marino, okay? <laughs> and then your comrade over there is totally... Rocket proof. Yeah. So what I'm finding out is that apparently Mantle armor amplifies damage. That's right. Well, it's because Mantle doesn't give a shit about their troops. They just keep making more. They just think of them like cannon fodder. Is that guy struggling for his life? No, he's just, his physics model is glitching out. He's dancing. Look at that pile of bodies. That's right. Oh. That's right, the pile of corpses. Yes, that fade out directly in front of you. Good lord. Like, maybe, maybe the graphical problems and maybe a couple of other issues with this game were caused by Free Radical, like, having absolutely no no experience with games of this level of production value. Well, yeah, but it's just, it's silly that if you're going to have a story beat that is, hey, this drug that you're taking makes bodies disappear, then you better deliver on having bodies not disappear when you're not on the drug. It must be through that round bill. I think I found the way. Do we have to go through a kind of round building? Exactly. Go through there. A path to the church is on the other side. Maybe. Kind of stupid otherwise. Maybe this is like you overdosed on nectar and this whole thing is a crazy death-fueled uh, hallucination. Oh, so I'm still on I'm still on the nectar now. Yes, you're, this is basically Jacob's Ladder, the video game. I think I'm going to wake up in the Animus because this is a Ubisoft game. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to wake up already dead. Oh. You're, you're in Vietnam. Oh, fuck you. Fuck that movie. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you hate that movie. No. Oh. See? Lops likes it. Yeah, I love that movie. Good lord. Huh. See, now we can gang up on you. Oh, it's so good. Lops, you don't even know what movie we're talking about. Jacob's Ladder, dude. Features uh, um, uh, Tim Robbins. Yeah, it's like it's like the altered state of Vietnam movies. And a bit part by Louis Black. It's actually, see, Lops knows more about it than I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he plays the doctor. He's not angry. Oh, no. It doesn't. It's not a very good look for him. All I remember in that movie is like the guy on the bed, like shaking his head back and forth really fast. Yep. Oh yeah. That's a, that's the thing. Oh no, I followed up my fake death with a real death. Tonight on Haze. <laughs> <laughs> on a very special episode of Haze for PS3. <laughs> on the Christmas episode what? of Haze. <laughs> why, why, would, why would you design your soldiers like that? <laughs> why would they be facing a wall? They had it coming. Will Carpenter keep his promise to Marino? Find out on As the Nectar Turns. <laughs> God. Uh, Code Haze is my favorite flavor of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew Code Haze. Yeah, if this I game had a Mountain Dew... I made that joke four videos ago. I don't know. If this game had a Mountain Dew tie-in, I'm pretty sure it probably would be, would be at least 10% more successful. Yes. I'd like to imagine, though, this has like some sort of other tie-in, like... You know, some sort of knockoff Cheetos and like Fago Cola, like a uh, like a popular uh, new metal band doing a a song <laughs> based on the game. No, it's it's, like, it's um, 
this like, is the, uh, the, 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 the official uh, product tie-in. Of <laughs> Good <this>. job. I <laughs> was Very drunk. nice. The official product tie-in tie of this is Snyder's of Hanover and <laughs> pretzel pieces. Yes, and, and Surge. Yes, Surge. Absolutely. <laughs> Surge. They brought it back just for this game. Just for this. Surge in mellow yellow. Uh, Surge finally gave up their Forsaken tie-in. And, uh, oh god, that happened, didn't it? <laughs> Did they? I never played Forsaken. No, no, the commercials were just very close to each other. Thank you for reminding me that commercials for Forsaken existed. <laughs> I, 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 the name is familiar, and there's like a face, but I never there's played a, there's it. There's a naked lady on the cover of this game that is kind of a Descent knockoff. Yeah. Kind of like the Phalanx cover, I guess. The if what? you're into dudes holding banjos. <laughs> yes. Isn't Phalanx the game where you're like an angel, fly around shooting no, little red thinking. balls? Oh man, check out this riveting cutscene. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I'm just... Okay. Wait. These guys have no idea what the hell they're doing. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Haze. The Reckoning. Mm -hmm. I am taking this game so seriously, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I've uh. just been in it since moment one. <laughs> uh, and I just hazed myself. Oh. oh no! Oh no! This does something. This affects me somehow. Yeah, it adds uh, lens flare. Yeah. It, it, it adds a motion blur, like in like I'm going really fast and burnout. <laughs> I love that game. We only have a few seconds. Set those mines. I actually misunderstood a thing that happened earlier in the game where when I was standing in a nectar grenade haze, I used the scope on my weapon and it looked like it was zooming in further than normal. So if you ever see me drop one of those at my feet, it's because I, I thought that was actually going to happen. Oh man, that is the best way of implementing grass. I, like, um, what, a flat texture? Yeah, just the flat textures that crisscross against each other. Nice. It's like uh. the, the, sprite that always, uh, the sprite that always faces the camera. Yes. Or the two sprites that are just in an X formation. No, it's like uh, the thing is, I. It's I like can't rain take... on your wedding day. <laughs> That's very ironic. Today they die. You're going down, promise hand. Uh, the thing is, I can never, I can never forgive video game grass, like looking as terrible as it does here, because Outlaw Golf 2 came out in 2005, and that one did it perfectly. Oh man. So again, deliberately standing in a nectar haze because I don't know any better. No, it's because you you you're addicted to that rush. That kind of rush. Yeah, that kind of rush. <laughs> I need to hit it up. You need to really rock it. Yeah. See, if you if you were doing this as like a with like a creative in character commentary, you could just be like, I just needed a little hit of the nectar, just a little juice to get going. That's right. I just couldn't shake that monkey on my back. Maybe the sergeant was right. Maybe I was an animal. Oh. Just some you know commentary. This is a very then. addicted pros here. <laughs> There's a helicopter coming for us. They take us up to the observatory. So we oh, can... oh, 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 oh. <laughs> God damn it, why did they have... <laughs> why did they do that? Why don't they just script the guy... I don't know. Why don't they just hand animate each of these guys to make it look like the cutscenes are good? They're so excited to be here. Why not just have them not in the cutscene? Why not just not have made this game? <laughs> There's yes. a lot of whys. Go, 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 go! I think you mean move, 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 move. No, Duvall, that... Whoa, I'm way over here now. Holy crap, what the hell? Are you flying? Uh, I'm the camera in a point-and-click puzzle game. Uh, we're playing the seventh guest. <laughs> we're playing Phantasmagoria 2. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, that's the one that's really messed up. Uh... We're playing uh, Burn Cycle. <laughs> it's like, hello, I'm Taxis, and welcome to my gameplay of, of Dark Seed. Uh, it's been done. Oh, uh, finally, Dark Seed. Yeah, it's I've bad. never seen that game before. I've played it. Do you want to see it? Here, Taxis, this will explain everything. Um, basically, Geiger, and then penises come out of your face. It's Geiger, excuse me. Or, sorry, Geiger, I, I always get that screwed Guys, up. Guys, Slowbeef is probably watching this Let's Play. We shouldn't... Who? Anyway. Yes. As the nectar turns. 
the pilot is still alive. You gotta rescue him. And then <laughs> the nuclear bomb goes off. Yeah, the, the pilot who looks just like the, you know, who looks nothing like the other soldiers that are circling around me right now. No, no, the nuclear bomb goes off, and then it, the screen just fades black and says, That's right, we did it first, bitches. Is that wait, another game? Call of Duty... Uh, was that Modern Warfare 1? Yeah, Modern oh, Warfare that, 1, yes. Is that the Russian level that I keep hearing that, about? You know, the moment that made people take Call of Duty games seriously. I, I, I must confess that I've only played one Call of Duty game, and the only thing I did was I played co-op with a friend, and I shot him repeatedly from the gunship. No, that's accurate. <laughs> and we were on the same team. That's also accurate. <laughs> I can't tell. Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly fire will not be tolerated. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's shoot both this helicopter's engines out while it's directly above us. That is a good plan. I'm gonna take out the pilot just out of spite. Ha ha. Those flares go forever. Uh, they're future flares. I also like how this gun, which is obviously belt-fed, um, doesn't actually seem to be cycling any shells or ejecting any casings. Nor is the belt moving, nor is there an ammo limit. So, uh, like, you've taken out one of this helicopter's engines already, it looks like, right? Yeah, you take out the one engine real quick, the second engine takes forever. But, like, but it's held up by both engines at once. Actually, like, I believe that's a VTOL, I don't think it's actually a helicopter. Or whatever. Uh, like, like an Osprey or whatever it's called, that fancy British thing. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that amazing uh, use of military funds. Yes. Hey, I don't know anything about planes. What do you call a VTOL that never gets off the ground? Uh, the Osprey. Fuck! Fuck you! Yes. <laughs> is that what it is? It was, was it an Osprey? Was that yes, right? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, the church! <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was such a thunderous impact. Bong. Oh man, dust clouds everywhere. Is there another route to the observatory? We can take the bridge. Let's go. Man, they had to have like six bake sales to buy that damn bell. Save the clock tower fund. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Defend the rebel base. No, I already did that. I gotta follow Marino now. Objective, follow, objective, escort. Imperial troops have entered the base. Okay. Yo, Ramirez. Uh, Marino's going too fast. He's only leaving handprints behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is really booking it. He's going to get himself caught. Well, I designed this level so so people is would... That a, is that a wicked sweet... Oh, I thought that was a wicked sweet ramp. Nope. Whoa, what the hell? It's a giant missile. Why does he have a, a one of those? Gotta wait for everybody else. That's a huge shotgun. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave off uh, there. Uh, that segment <laughs> of the level looked like it was like uh, I designed this level so uh, people could shoot in it, but I guess you could just run through it too. 